Hey, look at this. Rock, rocking the Kansas sweater. You know what it is. Shout out to Kansas. That's my favorite. If you didn't know, that's my favorite college team. Joel Embiid, though, I mean, that turned out. So shout out to Kansas. Represent anyway. Let's get into this. First things first, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, I got, I got a pillow for it, all right? You know, I had to. But anyway, this is the most exciting time for me of the year. And I, I'm guessing for a lot of you guys. But first of all, Dwayne Wade. Sad to see. Same with Dirk. But for me, Dwayne Wade, my favorite player of all time. And a Heat fan, like... I'm never gonna see him play again. That's crazy to me. Like, we're not gonna see Melo, probably. We're not gonna see Wade. We're not gonna see Dirk. We're not gonna see Iverson, Kobe. All these guys that, like, a lot of you might have grown up watching, depending on how old you are. And now Vince Carter's like the only one left from the 1990s. Like, it's crazy. All right, but that's that. Can't help it. It happens. So now, once LeBron's gone, oh my goodness. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting off topic, but let's get into it. Playoff predictions, these are mine. So like a lot of YouTubers make playoff predictions and they say like their first round playoff predictions. I'm gonna do that, but I'm actually gonna go all the way through. I'm gonna do first, second, Eastern Conference, Western Conference Finals, and then Finals, because I feel like that's way more exciting, man. You have to predict who, it's like a March Madness playoff bracket. That's what we're doing. So I want to hear what you guys think. And if somebody gets like the close, if somebody like goes all the way, you get a prize, all right? And I, I can see when you edit your, your thing. Actually, I don't know, should I do that? We'll see, we'll see. If you guys follow me on Instagram and uh, you, you send me your playoff bracket, I will, if you go all the way through, I'm talking about you go 100% game by game, if they win it in five, six, seven, that, all right, we're going all out in this. You have to get 100% and you get a prize. Anyway, let's get into it. Western Conference, we'll start with that. Golden State versus the Clippers. This matchup is really good. I love this matchup because I think the Clippers are the most underrated team in terms of nobody thought they were a playoff contender at the start of the year. Then they trade Tobias Harris and everyone's like, oh, they're tanking now. And then they end up, Jerry West is a freaking monster, first of all. Same with Doc Rivers, because you don't have a team that doesn't have a star player making it in the playoffs. And honestly, they didn't even, like, the 8th seed to the 5th seed, it could go either way. Like, the Clippers could have been the 5th seed. That's a very good season. But then again, Golden State. <laughs> it's Golden State, man. You got Curry, Durant, Clay, Draymond, Demarcus in the playoffs now. So I'm saying Golden State in five games. It could even be a sweep, but I'll say five. Houston versus Utah. Four seed versus fifth seed. James Harden, MVP candidate. We're going to make a video on who I think the predictions will be for MVP, MIP, all that kind of stuff. But James Harden obviously had an unstoppable year. The Rockets finished at the fourth seed. They could have been the second seed. They had a very rough start to the year in Utah. Utah is just kind of just the same as last year. A little bit better. Donovan Mitchell, they still got Rudy Gobert. You know, I, I'm saying it's going to be a tight series, but I'm saying Houston in six games. Then again, we saw uh, last year Utah beat OKC and... You know, Utah can, whew, Utah can make some noise in the playoffs, but I'm saying Houston in six games. The third seed versus the sixth seed, Portland versus OKC. To me, Portland is a weird one because obviously that Nurkic injury, ah, that kind of made a little bit of a dent in what the Portland Trailblazers were trying to do this season. But at the same time, getting Ennis Cantor was a great pickup. Um, because he's just a solid center. He's not Nurkic, but he's, he's, he's okay. Like, if you lose Nurkic, he's the guy that you could be like, yeah, bring him in. But he will just give you, like, 10 and 7 or 12 and 7, and that's all you can really ask for. But then, uh, okay, see, man, this is an interesting team. You got Westbrook and Paul George. Paul George has played, like, an MVP for parts of this season. Westbrook is averaging triple-double three straight years, but does that translate into wins? I'm saying, oh, oh Jesus, this is tough. Damon Westbrook, CJ, I'm saying OKC in seven games. I reckon we'll go seven, but OKC will get up on top. I mean, that's why I said last year about OKC, and they lost to Utah. So at this point, I don't even know, but I'm going with uh, OKC in seven games. Denver versus San Antonio Spurs. Not really going to get into this too much. LaMarcus and obviously DeRozan, it's a kind of good duo, but it's not what Kawhi and LaMarcus were. So I'm going Denver. They've had an amazing year. Denver in... 
five games. Yeah. Denver in five games. All right, the Eastern Conference now. The Bucks versus Detroit. I'm going with Milwaukee. I think Giannis is going to be unstoppable these playoffs. He's already been unstoppable regular season, but he's going to be even better in the playoffs, in my opinion. Detroit actually might bring this like series closer than you think. I don't think it will be a sweep. I think Detroit will actually lose in about six games, so they'll win two. I think it won't be as easy as people think, but obviously the Bucks versus the eight seed. Detroit, I'm gonna go with the Bucks. Boston versus Indiana. This would have been crazy if Victor Oladipo was playing. It's still good, but kind of misses something without Oladipo, which is why I'm saying Boston in five or six. I'll say five games. Philly versus Brooklyn. You know, it's good to see my man Ben Simmons back in the playoffs. Australian represent. I'm going with Philly. Obviously, Brooklyn has had an incredible year. I mean, we didn't think they were, they were going to be this good. Dinwiddie killing it off the bench. D'Angelo Russell showing LA fans why they should have kept him. And he's showing magic why, he, why they should have kept him. But I'm saying Philly in five games. And Toronto versus Orlando. I don't think it's going to be a matchup here. I think Toronto will, will win this pretty easy. This will probably be the first sweep that I have. I think uh, Toronto in four. All right, so now that means in the second round of the playoffs, we got Golden State versus Houston, I believe. Did I say that? Yeah, Golden State versus Houston in the second round, but uh, I've still got Golden State. I think Golden State will probably win it in about six games. That leads to OKC versus Denver. Whew, that will be a great series as well. Obviously, every series is going to be great in the second round of the playoffs, but ah, this is going to be interesting. Who's going to defend Jokic? See, to me, the Nuggets are a team. That's a team that is there. OKC is more like a one-two punch with a few average guys. Steven Adams is not average, but you know, they got just like a one-two punch of Westbrook and, and Paul George, and then they got a big man, kind of like what the Trailblazers have, in my opinion. But I'm gonna say that the Nuggets will win in six games against OKC. Then you've got the Bucks versus the Celtics in the Eastern Conference, and this is also one of the, oh, I can't, this is gonna be a good series. Who's gonna defend Giannis? If any team was to defend Giannis, it's going to be the Warriors or the Celtics. The Celtics have a lot of small forward, shooting guard, power forward type. I mean, you can't defend Giannis, but can you limit him? Hayward won't be the best option, but Tatum, Jalen Brown, good matchup. So I'm still going to say the Bucks just because of how dominant they've been all season long. Um, but I'm going to say seven games. And that means Philly versus Toronto. This will be a seven game series. It could go either way. I'm going to say Philly. I just think if you got Kawhi Leonard and Jimmy Butler on each other, who's going to defend Tobias? Ben Simmons is not looking to score. He's just, I don't even, I'm saying Philly in seven, and I don't know why. So in the Western Conference Finals, that leaves Golden State and Denver, who have been the two best teams in the West all year. To me, it's just easy. Golden State, they're going to win that um, in six games. And then... I'm going to say five games, actually. Golden State in five games. And then in the East, we've got the Philadelphia 76ers. Don't know about that one, actually. But we're going to say, we're going to stick with it. Philly and uh, the Bucks. And in my opinion, Philly might, Philly might just, whew, Philly. I mean, you got Ben Simmons on Yard. I'm going with Philly. I'm sorry. I'm, it sounds like I'm a Philly bandwagon. I'm, I swear I'm not. Like, I love Ben Simmons. And I'm, ref, I'm reffing Kansas for Joel and B, but I'm not. I swear on my life. I just I just see him going. Oh, no, I don't, man. I don't see him going all the way. See, now I'm, cha I'm changing. I'm saying, okay, this, is, this took a turn. I'm going Raptors versus Bucks. So I've got to think about this now. This is, this is harder than it seems, eh? I'm going Raptors versus Bucks. Raptors win, Warriors win in the West. Raptors versus Warriors, NBA Finals. Woo! Raptors versus Warriors, and now I've got, I've got the Warriors. Oh, my bad, shake, shake, my bad. I've got the Raptors versus the Warriors in the Finals, and uh, we're going with the Warriors in five. So that's, it's another championship. Who's gonna win the Finals MVP? I'm going with Steph Curry. What happens after that? Kevin Durant leaves, DeMarcus Cousins leaves, and it's back to the Warriors from 2016 again. So that's what I think will happen. 
but that's just my prediction. So let me know what your predictions are in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. Those are mine, full playoffs. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to stay tuned for my other videos coming up. We've got MIP, MVP, and all that kind of stuff, predictions in the next video. And then after that, we've got some more videos. So stay tuned for that. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe if you're new. I don't know if that's, yes, yeah, that. I don't even know, but we out. Peace.